Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and today I want to talk about the recent Time Spy 3D Mark leak or benchmark for what is believed to be an RX Vega card from AMD. Now, the 3D Mark score is readily available in the 3D Mark database, which a link is down in the description below, and that comes courtesy of the guys over at Guru 3D for spotting it. Now, our mystery card in question scored a 5950 on the Time Spy benchmark from 3D Mark, and that roughly puts it on par with a GTX 1070. Also worth pointing out is that the uh, core was running at 1200 megahertz, and also it had 8 gigabytes of VRAM available to it. Now, presumably, if this is in fact a Vega card, we would have 8 gigabytes of uh, high bandwidth memory, uh, version 2 so HBM2, and we're not really sure if the clock speed is going to be the final clock speed that we will actually be seeing from the retail versions of the card, or if it is a bit of a cut down version meant to compete at a lower level. Now, AMD fans will probably be a little bit disheartened by this benchmark, as we were really hoping for a card that probably slotted in somewhere between a GTX 1080 and a 1080 Ti. If this is in fact the highest end Vega card, then AMD will not be competing on the super high end of graphics and instead we'll be competing for the 1440p resolution crowd as well as the 1080 crowd. Uh, 1080p, that is. Now, take this with a giant grain of salt. We're really not sure where this benchmark exactly came from as far as who is running it and what graphics card we're actually looking at. It is very possible that this is not the top end Vega card. If it is, in fact, a Vega card, it could very possibly be a lower end Vega card that's actually meant to compete against the GTX 1070 and not so much against the 1080 or even 1080 Ti. Yet another possibility is that this is in fact the highest in Vega card that is going to be offered, but the clock speed may not be at its retail level. There may be more gas in the proverbial tank to get that clock speed a little bit higher than just that 1200 uh, megahertz turbo clock. And lastly, I will leave you with this thought. If Vega only competes with the 1070, we're still not really losing that much. Yeah, some of us do want to play our games at like 144 hertz at 1440p or 4K, but frankly, for most of us, the 1070 is already overkill. I know it is for me because I run a 75 hertz monitor. So it would not be the end of the world if AMD is only going to compete at the 1070 level and lower. Yes, it would be disappointing. And yes, I really do hope that there is more in the Vega tank, but it would not be the worst thing in the world and would still give consumers another option in the marketplace, which is never a bad thing. And as always, guys, if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you expect Vega to be a little bit of a dud, or are we still expecting big things for it to compete with the 1080 or maybe even the 1080 Ti, which may be a little bit ambitious at this point? You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And lastly, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.